Okay, we got the Team Associated Pro 4 SE10 four wheel drive short horse truck. It was just released a, a week ago. And I've had it less than a week. Um, ran it quite a bit. Pretty happy with it. Has a few handling things that some shock oils and stuff that probably need to be addressed. Back end's a little loose. But the weather was really bad this weekend. I already had the uh, some stuff laying around that I had ordered for this truck and another car and I already upgraded the electronics. I did uh, everything on the electronics side of it. Nothing wrong with the stock stuff. Worked perfectly fine. Nothing was broken. But like I said, it got bored. I was going to upgrade it anyway. It was already my intention. So I just want to go over what I've got. So. This dust cover is almost a requirement for this truck. In my unboxing video, I said how bad I hate these things because they're hard to get on. But in this truck, it's a lot easier to get on than some. I drilled a little hole, put a zip tie here in the corner so that this dust cover will stay with the truck. And remind me to always put it on because lots of rocks and debris get wedged in there. Scratch up the motor, get underneath the motor. I mean, it is a mess. So highly recommend you use your dust cover with this truck and probably any short course truck that has a tub chassis okay let's show you what we got okay so first thing I did was uh, upgraded the servo it's not a super expensive servo it's a high-tech servo it is an HS 5565MH it's a uh, says monster speed uh, this is about sixty six dollars all metal gears plastic case and at seven point four volts it's nine seconds so it's a pretty fast servo didn't need to go super expensive for this just needed something quicker stock servo was adequate but it was a little slow on the response the specs are on the back here uh, at six volts it's eleven seconds at one fifty two ounces and at 7.4 volts, it's 0.9 seconds at 194.4 ounces. Adequate for this truck and this size of tire. I also upgraded the radio system. I went with the Fataba receiver, the R203GF. Pretty quick receiver. I like it. I got the Fataba controller here. The T3PV has all the adjustments. For this that you would need um, next thing I did was the new castle copperhead system this is a combo and this was the limited edition one has the longer can motor haven't tried this yet but I have tried the copperhead system in another truck in the rival with a different motor pretty happy with how smooth it is so I'm sure this is gonna be great in this truck the copperhead ESC combined with this longer can motor didn't exactly fit straight into this truck. Um, the can being a little bit longer and the ECs longer than a few of the others out there. Receiver box wouldn't fit. So I had to unbolt the receiver box, drill new holes in the bottom of the receiver box, and move it a quarter of an inch forward and remount it down. Then I had enough clearance front and rear and the, the lid on the box will still open without binding against the servo. But it has to be moved for a longer can motor. The other thing that I had to do is with this motor, the motor mount, I noticed, um, it was the motor was wiggly up and down. And it still is a little bit, but it's a lot better. So what I had to do is once this mo this screw is tight I put a motor shim down here against this side it really tightened it up a lot the system is probably going to be awesome in here this is a 3200 kV and this system will handle 4S I don't have any 4S batteries right now for this truck but I am gonna try it probably won't run it that much it's a lot of power for a truck this size and another thing I did um, is I took out the center diff, put a hundred thousand weight diff oil in it, 
Um, the front tires were unloading too much under acceleration and you could just hear them digging on the pavement as it was trying to get going. This 100,000 isn't as high as a lot of guys like to run. I don't like to run a million weight or something ridiculous. The diff is there for a purpose. It's to help save the drivetrain. But it needed to be tightened up somewhat. So 100,000. And that was really easy. Six screws was, was really quite easy to change the oil there. I haven't done front and rear yet because... Team Associated just released new steel drive shafts for the front and rear for the Pro 4 SE10 and the Rival MT and you have to pull the diffs out and replace the cups, um, the plastic out drives with diff cups. And so I didn't want to tear it apart yet if I'm going to have to do that again. So the front and rear will be done at a later date. Um, what else? I guess that's it on that part of it. Um, and we got some other stuff today that I'm going to put in and we got the um, brand new aluminum shock set this is the rear set this is the, the front set nice looking shocks we'll see when I open them up and get them installed how they are fully assembled with oil in them it feels like but they're bubbly and so I'm going to change the oil in them just because I want to make sure I know what's in them. I already have an idea of what oils I want anyway. So let me show you that when they're all installed. done shocks installed looks super sweet really nice shock set couldn't expect much more from team associated they did a good job um, 35 weight rear softer spring and in the front I did 40 weight um, <clears throat> yeah we're about ready to give this thing a rip I was really happy with the assembly of the shocks and the coolest part is is when you fire up this limited edition Cool tones. Ready to go. Well, let's take it out and see what it will do. Mm -hmm. 